I'm thinking she's sneaking up on us.
fifth one. To make the sod house frame. To make a sod house, they use those for? Yeah, wear bones and fifth wood. <coughs> they make notches and then tie them together. So they won't clap when you lay the sod on top. Okay. They won't clap. They make sod, that was a sod home. That was a But now the home. sod homes are pretty much, they don't have them anymore. Not anymore. But, uh, they have them out in places like Point Lay or any place? No, not anymore. Not, we got um, modern housing now. Yeah. Six, eight inches thick of um, walls. You know, we got a modern home. Well insulated. And yeah, insulated. So from here, you could look out and see where that Russian Sea and the U.S. Sea collide. We have to, around here. The people, people see on this side and the uh, Tukchi Sea. They, they move back and forth between here and all, all across here. This is the northernmost point, all the way across here. This, is, this is the actual northernmost point of the United States yeah, right here. the United States, yes. Welcome. This is, this is Point Barrow right point here. Point Barrow, right here. Nubuk, we call it Nubuk. That's a bad word for it. Uh, it's always been Nubuk for over 2,000 years. We had Inubiak living here for over 2,000 years because they were whalers. We've been whaling. This is the whaling. This was the largest settlement for over 2,000 years because they were whalers here. The people in Inubiak lived here for over 2,000 years because they were closest to the whale <coughs> when they migrated north in the spring and migrating south in the fall. They had to be close to the whale to hunt the whale. Right. And we, they, from... The, the population here was from anywhere from 800 to 1,300 people living here one time every all year round. People live here. That many people live here. It was the largest settlement here. Summertime, they push them over to the lower ground and then bury them with gravel. You see, that is the blowhole? Yeah, the blowhole. The bowhead whale. These are bowhead whales. Called. Yeah. This is a vertebrae? The vertebrae, yeah. Bowhead whale vertebrae. And uh, bio course comes through here. Right, okay. Paralangib Sigin Utkayawin Mun. Welcome, Paralangib Sigin Utkayawin Mun. Bear's Eskimo name, Utkhari, is Bear's Eskimo name. Moon means to bear. Utkhari, moon, to bear. Okay, that's a whaling team all set to head out, huh? Yeah, whaling, whaling. Whaling, but no place to go. Waiting for open ice. Open water. Open water, I mean, I, yeah, that's what I meant. This is what? Lower jaw, this part. Your lower jaw? This, this same thing, the same thing as this one. The same thing and this is a, bow, a, is a, a bowhead one. whale, you said? Bowhead, about 60, 70 footer. A 60 or 70 footer? 70 foot whale from this one. This so about a 70 ton whale then. You said about a ton a foot, right? Yeah. That's what scientists estimate about, that's one, one foot per ton. Or where? 20, 20 foot is about 20 ton. And that's how we go. The right. head is the black. Yeah, right. and we go right up to the whale like that. We go right on top of the whale to uh, harpoon it, to go after it. We go right on top of the whale to harpoon it. But you got to have a good uh, steersman to get away from the flippers. You got to stay away from the flippers. They could touch the boat. Yeah, easy. No, no, easy, yeah. How many, how, how, how many times would you guess you've been out whaling? Uh, Dozens? All my life. 
yeah. since I was nine years old. Since nine years old, boy. That one side is the um, sure fast ice. I told you the sure fast ice is grounded, safe ice. Right. The other one is the um, um, ice pack, which moves back and forth. That's what opens up the uh, lead out there. And the pack ice moves back and forth. That's what. That's how we get the open lead right there. It's the uh, pack ice moves and opens up the water. This lady has some questions to ask you. Good morning. Hello. You're back to my home. And then put a hole in there, ice cellar. This is our refrigerator. This is our uh, oil meat. We put them in the ice cellar. You still do this? Yeah, this is our this is permafrost. It's permafrost. Oh, permafrost. It's it's permafrost. Down. Ice under that ground. Ice so it, stay, it stays down. cold down there. Yeah, right? it stays even in summertime. It's pretty in summer. Yeah. We're preserving our food down there. You see that those are from the they're from the whale or the yeah, what you call them? The, those are baleen from the whale bowhead whales. Those are from whale bowhead whales mouth. Oh, okay. They're like tooth. And this is the uh, driftwood. The the national forest right here. There's national forest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm most famous. Canada, New York City is right about in the middle of the giant Blue Bay oil field. Atkatuk is closest to Bell. It's about 60 miles southwest of here. Bell is the largest village of these, and it's the hub of our uh, North Slope. Wainwright is just down the coast. Point Day is the smallest village with 120, 130 people. Point Hope is closest to um, Russia. And Anaktuwa Pass is um, the mountain people. They're the mountain Eskimos. Anaktuwa, they live in our folks' ranges. They, they're the mountain Eskimos. Okay. So the only way to get up to Wainwright and Point Lay, you fly out there. Yeah. Well, Wainwright and Atkazuk and Point Lay and Nuerset, they in the winter, there's no machine here. They, they can oh, use they the do? machine if they okay. want to. Yeah. Okay. bones and um, driftwood and sod. And these mounds are old sod houses. I told you this mount is our old original sod house. Actually those are sod houses. Yeah. It's outside of bear, bear. It's, uh, these are old sod houses. They're buried in the on the ground. This is where bear you this is the way bear in your bear used to live in sod homes. We built sod houses. For permanent homes. All these mounds are sod houses. There's a one sod house being um, eroded. We'll go look at it down, down by the edge of the block. Okay. Then you're saying that. Uh, uh, sod houses this... built with square bones, yeah, square bones and driftwood. Mm -hmm. that, those were for structure. Driftwood and whale bones and, bones and then, whale bones. They and then sod. Struct to structure, make the structure and then. They the sod on top. And then lots of these are 
You can see some wood in there. Yeah. What, what are those right there? Those are whale bones, yeah. Those are whale bones? Jaw, lower jaws, or the upper jaws of the whale. Bowhead whale. So they were using the bones to kind of put some structure to it. Yeah. And then and then put the sod over it. On top, yeah. And then when you think about it, you know, besides sod and, and using rail bones, there's no wood up this way, so they yeah. they they probably didn't. Use whatever at, was at that, available for resources. Right. The natural resources, the environment, the uh, whatever is around. Right. And it wasn't wood at that point. It was. Well, driftwood. We could driftwood from the. Yeah. The GC from the Russian rivers, and the uh, Beaufort Sea from the Canadian rivers. We could driftwood from those out. Uh, um, Ocean current, they come bring them in from Canada and from Russia. Uh-huh. Family, Book Valley was, while uh, Nouveau Point Valley, they had about 200 families, 250, 300 families in Nouveau. Okay. In Barrow, there's only about 25, 35, 40 families like these mounts. And here's a... You can see the structure, the water, yeah, the drift coming out, it's, it's from the erosion. This is the... Um, this wood, some whale bones up there on top. If this is coming out, this erosion. We get, we can find the artifacts from around here. This is after a whale, I mean a fire storm. Uh, all of this uh, erosion goes take quite a bit of this land. Every year it keeps moving up, and uh, lots of more whale bones, more structures.
Be able to close the aircraft door and be on our way. Welcome aboard.
Thank you.